Hello again, Poolside Dreamer. Just wanted to show you this. This little potato plant stayed in this small pot way too long. And look, it's even formed a little potato. That is something I hadn't seen before. Anyway, I'm repotting a lot of my stuff here. I still don't have room for it in the garden. So we'll see. And of course, I'm buying more stuff, buying more pots. At any rate, my general garden prog uh, progress, it's not too bad. The peas have died back on that first row of peas I put in. On the second row back there, uh, they're still producing although not as well as I would have liked. I believe the heat's getting to them. This tomato plant is dying back. It's had blight hits them every time temperature gets 90 degrees or above. I can't seem to keep tomato plants alive. So I don't know what the issue is. I'm not using any type of uh, fungicide or anything like that. I try to keep everything as natural as possible. My zucchini plants seem to be doing okay. I've got one zucchini there, it seems all right. And in here, I have one that so far looks all right, but one's dying back for some reason. My grape plants, and these two pots seem to be doing fine. Take a look over here. And they're growing nicely. Can't complain about that at all. I put two grape plants in the garden, one over here and one over there on the other side. That one over there seems to be doing a lot better. I'm not sure why. You can see this grape plant here is growing up nicely. These metal trellises I thought were a great idea. They look really nice and seem like they would do the job. But unfortunately, out here in this Arizona sun, they get a little too hot. And I've had a couple of the tendrils die back on me when they've tried to wrap around this metal. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that yet. I've got two more of these inside the house to put on the other side here. This broccoli looks like it's past time to pull. I'm not getting much of a production anymore on secondary growth, just these little things here. Which, I mean, they're all right. They still taste okay. Occasionally I'll find a bitter one. I gotta pull all these grapevines down. But I gotta make sure I save the seeds. I'm sorry, I said grapevines, pea vines. Gotta pull all these pea vines down. I wanna save the pods and the peas in them so I can plant next crop come fall idea being that they might be better acclimated to this soil and climate so give me better production although i can't complain about this um, spring's production on these these tomato plants here grown very well a lot better than i expected not producing all that many tomatoes yet but there are a few in there. And of course, if you look in here, you can see where the plant is dying back from the bottom up. There again, that blight hit it. So I won't have much of a crop on tomatoes. Not that I ever do, but you know, I keep trying. My radishes are really overgrown. They got too hot. When the weather got hot, radishes increased in the heat inside them. And I don't like them when they're hot. So I haven't bothered to 
pick them yet or pull them I should say I've got this weed I don't know what it is but it produces little black or very dark purple berries and I don't trust them I don't know what they are but I'm not gonna try to eat them I'll just pull them out one of these days pepper plants yeah they're doing okay getting some production out of them well some flowers anyway these broccoli plants here will also need to go get them out of here and get something else and maybe some beans the row of beans I put right here that I thought were pole beans apparently were not but I'm getting some production in there so I need to get in there and pull these or pick these Not a great meal, but maybe a nice snack. These potato plants in buckets uh, seem to be doing fairly well. Not sure uh, how productive they're gonna be. Got some, some kind of squash over here. Cucumber, I think, I'm sorry. Cucumber, let's see. Yeah, that's a cucumber or two cucumber plants. And they're not producing anything yet, just flowering. And a pepper plant, pepper plant right there, it's not doing anything. These tomato plants aren't doing well at all. Combination of probably not enough water and the blight setting in. So, although I do try to water every other day. Now watermelon plants, seem to be doing okay. They're flowering, but no fruit set yet. And I've got some little strawberry plants here that are producing a couple, three berries at a time. Nothing currently though. These potato plants here are dying back. They'll be ready to harvest soon. Got some yellow squash. It seems to be doing okay. Lots of flowers. They're kind of taking over here. Right next to my potato plants, row of potatoes here I put in. And that was a kind of dumb thing. I should have put the potatoes where the squash are and the squash where the potatoes are because it's going to be hard to dig those potatoes with the squash plants here. These pea plants here again are dying back. They're getting plenty of water, but it's just getting too hot for them. I'll harvest what I can and uh, save any seeds that are available and wait till fall and have another crop then. My rosemary is going great guns down here. Kind of buried between the tomatoes and this lettuce that's gone to seed. You see it's kind of towering here. Not sure if I want to save this for seed or not, but we'll see. And of course we have the carrots. They're not doing too bad. See, well, they're not very big, but could be the variety I planted. I'm not sure what variety it was, but they're nice little carrots. They're sweet, really, really sweet. And they're not all developing at the same rate. This is a much smaller one here. But occasionally I'll pick one and eat it raw, right out of the garden. It's really good. Over here I've got some pepper plants and some basil. I don't know why the basil on the far right is turning, the leaves are turning yellow, but that's the way things are. It's the same soil as the other two are in. They, those seem to be doing fine. These pepper plants really haven't done much since I planted them over here. Or I should say transplanted. They've grown a little, but I've kept them watered and I've fertilized them a couple times, but doesn't seem to be helping. This pot here that had the spinach in I'm taking it out of the big pot, put it in temporarily into these little pots 
so I can use this bigger one for other things. What I do is I simply cut around the root of the plant and pull out these weeds, of course. Then just go down beside the plant and pull it out. Just like that. If the root ball was too big to fit in the pot, I just kind of slough off some of the soil. And put it in the pot. I'll transplant it later. Not sure where yet, but it'll go somewhere. That big pot there is one of the ones that I put a lot of garden waste in just to store it. Then I thought, what the heck, I'd just throw some soil on top and plant on top of it. Well, it worked kind of. I thought maybe it wouldn't drop too much nitrogen being at the bottom of the pot, but apparently it did, so things did not grow well in here. But it's breaking down this garden stuff, weeds and sticks and whatnot, fairly well. So, not sure exactly what I want to do with this, if I want to use it. I don't think I have any gardens, I mean, weed seeds in here, but I could be wrong. I tried not to put any plants that had seeded in here. That's about it for tonight. I worked till it's too dark to see anything. We've got a street light right over our head, but still in the yard, it's really, really dark. Got the weed whacker out and Worked on some of the weeds around here until the battery died. And now I've just been sitting out here relaxing and enjoying the relative peace and quiet. Still a lot of work to do out here. Anyway, slow but sure, get things done. Now it's 8 o'clock and i got to go in and do something about supper. So, talk to you, all guys, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.